Hey, this is Cindy. Um, I wanted to make a little video of the Wadsworth Clayton Jones Cemetery. This is in Lamar County, Georgia. I want to make the video because I know a lot of you that are related to the families here can't come here. Um, and let you know that the Wadsworth Clayton Cemetery Saviors are working hard to memorialize the people buried here, identify them, but um, it's still horrific to come up here after the city of Barnesville, Georgia, just in Lamar County, uh, massacred the trees. Uh, they did not have a permit to do so. And when they were doing this, they drove on top of these headstones that were buried in the ground in a purposely dug hole and they were stacked on one another. But when they drove on top of them, it just, many of them broke. They have fissures and it's just, like I said, it's just heartbreaking. The trees are the most heartbreaking for me because as a child, this cemetery had perpetual care. You didn't have to mow it, you didn't have to do anything because there was humus, there was different, and there was leaves, there was all kinds of stuff to uh, keep it protected. There weren't any cows in it then. And once the cemetery bought the land in 1997, um, I believe that that's when the cows really started coming on here. There was still some fencing when I was last year in 1992. But, um, you know, if you descend from Archibald, Ignatius, Wadsworth, they started in North Carolina. Jones is, I think, an Aaron Jones down through Seaborn on down. Uh, Clayton, I'm not as familiar with that line. I know there was a Cassius Clayton that fought in the Civil War and died. And um, he married a Wadsworth. Uh, Buffington, uh, there's some Buffingtons that were related to this cemetery uh, via Levisha, I believe, Wadsworth. But um, again, this is the, like I said, there's just these big man-made holes that had stones just stacked on them. Now that obelisk was um, going the other way, but that where it's laying over the man-made hole. And there was a couple of them. And we have done just one little area of the cemetery. We have our headstones on it. This is where you see the flags we have. Uh, we still have others to, you know, bring up. Um, but these are the headstones that we have brought up out of the man-made holes. And there's so many more headstones up here, it's just heartbreaking. But you can see why the Wadsworth, Clayton, Jones, all these families chose this hill. It is beautiful up here. You know, you can see for miles. And uh, again, this is Lamar County, Georgia. But, you know, again, the city of Barnesville, Georgia, through their city manager, Kenny Roger, Kenny Roberts, sorry, <laughs> Kenny Roberts, their other assistant manager, Tim Turner of Barnesville, they just massacred the cemetery and um, had no right, no permit to come up here and bring these big, what, three to five ton trucks up here and just, uh, just absolutely drive on top of all this, on top of these graves. About 143 people were documented being buried here in 1942 by the Moore family by the indentations in the ground, the headstones were already missing then. Um, I firmly believe when the city again bought this in 97 that they knew, they knew that these headstones were here. And they have, the city of Barnesville, Georgia, through Kenny Roberts and Tim Turner, um, the whole crowd, you know, they have just purposely wiped the cemetery off the map. But we won our last battle with them. Um, we knew they had an illegal permit and before they could get up here and remove the people as they planned to do we fought them in superior court in atlanta and um, won and their permit is now null and void so they have to or want to get another permit to remove the people here uh, they have to uh, go back to the superior court in lamar county which they should have done in the first place but uh, they did just legal thing by not reading the law of Georgia. But just wanted to kind of give y'all a um, tour. 
gorgeous place. Some of you can't come here, but it's truly beautiful. And you can see why it is a cemetery. But um, in the far northeast corner of the cemetery are the graves of the Civil War soldiers that were killed instantly um, when two trains collided. And those trains collided uh, down below me here beyond this pond in what was called Lavender's Curve. Two Civil War trains. One was southbound, one was northbound. And the southbound train was, had left Atlanta. It was loaded with uh, injured soldiers. Had 22 uh, prisoners of war on top of the train. And some of them were from the state of Iowa. But um, they collided. The up train, the northbound train, had supplies. And they did not communicate well and collided. And again, there were about 30 one soldiers documented as dying instantly um, and, and they were quickly brought to the Wadsworth Clayton Cemetery and buried under the six of the cemetery. Um, and those headstones are gone. There used to be some kind of military issue headstones. I think we found some of them, but um, we checked on that. We are going to have to hire a mortuary archaeologist. I hope I have that term right to help us um, figure this out. It is just heartbreaking to know that the city of Barnesville, Georgia, did this. Um, you know, I, I firmly believe in karma, and you can already see karma in action with some of these people that had been involved in this illegally and um, without a permit, just destroyed this place. And they called it an abandoned cemetery, but you know, we have been locked out of this place for years. Came here a lot with my dad when I was a kid. Beautiful place. But like I said, it had its own perpetual care. These trees are probably 100, 150 years old. And uh, we never had to mow. It was always cool up here. Even in the heat of the summer, it was cool. But again, Cynthia Wadsworth, also one of the Wadsworth Clayton Jones Cemetery Saviors, reporting from Lamar County, Georgia. And just sharing with you the heartbreak of this cemetery. But we are going to do our best to save it and keep these people. This is so, this is such a historical cemetery. Uh, we want to memorialize the people here. And there's all cultures here. You know, there are Indians buried here. There are um, African American black people here. There are white people here. It's just amazing. You know, this cemetery goes back a long time. And when I was here as a child, my dad and I always found Indian um, pottery, and dad would explain to me it was from the Swift Creek Indian tribe, and no, we never took any with us, we always left everything here. And lo and behold, yesterday as I was leaving, um, I looked down at one of the areas where we had found some of these stacked headstones, and there was a milky white quartz arrowhead. That was a sign to me. So we're not giving up, and I will be turning that area head over to the Department of Natural Resources because it's long been known that there was a possibility that there was an Indian burial around here too. Um, I think they saw some archaeological terraces um, on the radar sonar that they did uh, back in 2017, but I'm not positive. But again, the family history, uh, the Wadsworths, the McIntosh families, the Buffington's uh, Cum Cumbies, I believe, a lot of the Indians and, and these families mixed in, but it kept some of the Indians, particularly the McIntosh family, from having to leave the area on the, with the uh, trail of tears. So, a little history, and I hope you enjoyed your visit here. Again, um, this is in Lamar County, Georgia. This is the old Wadsworth Clayton Jones Cemetery. This land was originally purchased by Archibald Wadsworth in I think 1818 not positive but um just a gorgeous place but absolutely massacred right now by Kitty Roberts and we're gonna let everybody know about it Tim Turner all those people had something to do with this um, it's gonna be out there and we're not done we're not done in court you know they have to pay for the damages that they've done to the cemetery and thank God they didn't get their chance to wipe it off the map. We're not going to let them do that.
enjoy. Hope you enjoyed your visit here.